Hi there everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel. If you want to learn how to make this beautiful glass display case, stay tuned. For this DIY, you will need five picture frames. What I've chosen here is the wall art reproduction that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. It measures about seven and a half inches long and 11 and a half inches wide. I think it's perfect because I like the frame how it looks like. I don't need to spray paint them. First I'm removing all the inserts that includes the backing and the print as well as the glass from each picture frame. And then I am going to be removing all those metals that held the inserts and the glass and to do this more carefully what I did is I flattened them back into position so that when I use my plier it's easier to remove them otherwise if it's bent chances are it can break the frame so reminder this is a Dollar Tree material and this is not the toughest or the strongest material so be very careful with this step I'll be using E6000 combined with my hot glue gun to attach each of the glass onto the frames. And the reason why I'm using a combination, the E6000 will hold it in place permanently or on a stronger bond, while the hot glue will hold it in place while the E6000 dries or cures. You can choose another epoxy type or strong hold bond glue. You can probably use the fix all that they sell at the Dollar Tree. Gorilla Glue is also good, as well as Super Glue. Make sure that you apply the glue along the perimeter and then place the glass carefully. After attaching the glass to the frame, secure it further by applying more hot glue on the seams on the back of the frame. Adding this extra step will ensure that the glass is sealed in place. Next, I'm going to be putting together two at a time, four of the frames. So for example, two and two, those are the ones that I'm going to be using for the edges. So how I'm doing this is on one frame, I'll be using the E6000 on the other frame I'll be using the hot glue so that when I put them together, they will mix up. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that before you close them together or connect them together, make sure that the glass that will be trapped inside or underneath each frame be clean and devoid of any dust, fingerprints, and also glue residue like the webs that come out of the hot glue. So after applying glue on each frame, connect them together, make sure they are lined up. Once I have a couple of frames that I have doubled up, you know, those four frames, I am going to be securing them in place. What I'm using here is there's a single frame that I'm using at the bottom and then the doubled up frame. I am going to be using at the side. As you can see here, I'm going to use again the E6000 and the hot glue to secure them in place. I'm putting something heavy at the back so that I can position this correctly and it ensures that it's straight and I'm also adding something in the front of this double frame. This is just giving me extra helping hand so that I can work on the other side of this display case. Now I am applying glue on the opposite end, the other double-sided frame that I just connected. And then I am putting it in place like so. And then just like with the other one on the other side, I have place something so that it can lean on it 
and it will hold it in place. So right now I'm just testing out where I'm going to be putting the second shelf. And I found this roll of raffia that is about 6 inches in height. And I figured that's the perfect size or height for my shelf because what I want to do is all the heavier stuff, anything tall and heavy will go at the bottom. As you could see, I cannot put or apply glue along the side of this frame. I can only put them on each corner. So now that I have assessed that the height just works out fine for me, for the purpose that I need it for, I am going to be applying glue to each corner. And this is the corner. Those are the corners that I'm going to be placing glue. And again, like I said earlier, I cannot put them straight because of the glass and there's a gap there. There's no frame that it can attach to except the ones on the side. And that's the reason why I'm just applying only this amount, about half an inch in length or width. Another angle here, I place the camera on another stand. And I'm just showing here that I am using also more E6000. So I'm just adding a little bit more just to ensure I added some more at the bottom because I'm really concerned about that middle or second shelf. I don't want it to fall and break. So I'm adding more because the E6000 really is strong bond glue. I'm actually doing this on all four corners and then I'm going to be adding some more hot glue once that dries up so that I will be really doubly, triply sure that it is secured and it's not going to fall. Next, I'm going to be attaching the top frame. So with this one, it's much easier than the middle frame because I am going to be able to add glue on the full length of the side of the frame so that it can attach itself securely onto the double-sided frames that I'm using on the sides, on each side. So as you can see, this is how I'm going to do it. That's where I'm going to be placing it. I'll be attaching it using my E6000 for stronger bond and then I'm going to be adding hot glue for quick bond. Okay, a few more hours later, this is what I have. Not too happy about the glue that oozed out. I tried to clean them as best as I could. I really wanted this to be strong and that it will not fall off. That's why I put a lot of E6000 and hot glue. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be adding this glam ribbon or glam wrap that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I got it in gold and I am just going to be gluing them on to the seams that show a lot of glue. It's not going to be all over the frame because I like the way this frame looks like. It looks aged and it has patina but I'm just going to put this glam wrap in places that I cannot clean further and that there are seams showing. So let me just show you how it'll look like. So since the seams on the front of the double-sided frames that I use as the foundation or sides of the shelf or display case also has a gap and the glue is showing from inside so I'm just going to be applying some more hot glue here and then I'm going to be trimming it or adding this glam ribbon like so it'll cover the gap as well as the glue that is underneath it and that's what I'm gonna do on the top as well
So there's still some seams here that I need to cover. So I'm just cutting a strip the same length. But let me see if just a single strip will do. I think it'll work just to cover it. Perfect. And then I'll do the same thing here. So I'll just cut it some more. After adding the trim, I'm just going to be cleaning all the shelves one last time. And then I'll be adding my items on the shelves. And here is the final product. I have cleaned up the shelves. I think I need to clean some more, but I just couldn't wait to display my items, my knickknacks. You can actually use this to display your makeup or perfume bottles. You can probably put the perfume bottles, the heavier ones at the bottom, the lighter ones in the middle, and then, you know, the medium weight ones on the top or probably jewelry so make this like your jewelry display case uh, you can add glass or frames at the back as well i decided not to i'm using this prop up uh, with a black foam core board that i also got from the dollar tree i'm actually debating whether i'm just gonna connect a piece of foam core board that I cut to size to be a backing because I like looking at things with a dark or black backdrop because it really pops like at this angle here where you can see this gold items in front of the black backdrop really looks glam right so that's why I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna be doing that and it adds a little bit more strength it will make it a little bit more secure and so that's probably what I'm gonna do off camera but you can do the same thing or like I said if you want to add a glass backdrop so you can add mirrors at the back if you have a mirror that's cut to size that'll be great as well it, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share with anyone you think would enjoy this type of project if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe as well as leave some comments down below and to my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting me. We've hit over 30,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you supporting me. I couldn't have done it without all of your support. So hope you come back again for our next video. Talk to you again. Bye-bye.